Welcome back to Bathurst Diecast Racing. We are now in the pits. Are you ready? Take it away, Harry. Thank you, Larry. We have the 1981 Camaro weighing at 37 grams. His name is the G-Man. Oh, yeah. Then we have the 1981 Camaro Z28. 28 grams, he's called Vatuski. Got number one on his car. That's a precursor. Maybe. And then we have my choice, which is a 1967 Pontiac Firebird weighing at 39 grams. His name is number 13. For six and seven. And then my choice, the legendary 1977 Holden Tirana A9X. I tell you what, we've got some secret footage here of Peter Perfect warming his tyres up. Yeah, that should just get it just about warm enough, I reckon. All right, GM versus GMH. Well, we got the track temperature weighing at 71 degrees Fahrenheit, and we got 21 degrees Celsius. That is just getting heavier and heavier every time. It's a gorgeous day here, a little bit overcast, but no rain on the horizon. Let's see how good these cars go. Go to run. They're at the starting grid, we've got the red light. They're revving away, we've got the green light. Nice and even up mountain straight. Oh, Peter's getting a little bit sideways there on the entrance into the cutting. Very tight with the G-Man is taking the lead. Peter's slipping and sliding everywhere. There goes the G-Man. Oh, a little slide from you. We got the... Yep, Peter getting sideways, he actually spun around, didn't he? Oh! Talking to spinning around oh, a pony. Oh. Oh. Looks like Peter did quite slightly get in there for second, but he is pretty wild. He actually loses it halfway down the straight, does a bit of wall whacking. Not a lot of fun. Here he is. Drifting nicely. What a power in that Tirana. Then the G-Man getting right up beside him. Causes him to spin out a bit. Yep. And there's Peter down the straight. Doing a bit of a wiggle. I think the fat cars do that as well. Yes, and G-Man slides across the line. Peter in second, number 13 in third. And Vatuski comes in last. That's, that's the way to finish a race. So G-Man with five points. Peter Perfect four, number 13 three, and Vatuski two. It's maximum points for everyone. Let's see if they can do it again. Here we are for race two. Vatuski on the inside, Peter on the rear backside. Oh, it's very tight through there. Well, Vatuski's getting his nose reared up in the air. G-Man's taking the lead. Peter's getting sideways again. He's had another spin. Oh! Number 13 is stalled out. Oh, he slid it and stalled. Oh! Everybody's getting sideways through there. Slowing right down. Oh, Peter's lost transmission. Come on, Peter. G-Man's just easing it across the line. Vatuski in second. Well, Peter is a heavyweight. We did expect a little bit of uh, fireworks from that weight. So there was, there was two DNFs, one with uh, Peter and also one with number 13. Like, look what happened with number 13. He just spun around and just, just stopped. Big broadside. Mm -hmm. And then a mechanical error by Peter Perfect as well. Yeah, he's got no drive there. Something's gone wrong. The engineers will not be happy with that. No. And G-Man slowly backing it across the line. 
and gets in there for first place for maximum points. So G-Man, 10 points. Peter Perfect on six. Patuski on six. And number 13, not crossing under the tyre, gives him a zero for three. Here we go again for race three. 13 in the front, front inside. Peter and number 13 getting it together. What's happened to G-Man? He's had such a strong performance in the first two races and now Peter is on the hammer of number 13. batusi has gone for a slippery slide. Goodness me. Oh. Is that Peter? He's done the overtake on number 13, that Conrod straight. The drag race down to the finish line. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice Good. little drift by G-Man then. Oh, it looks like Peter. Peter perfect across the line and first. Yeehaw, number 13 second. G-Man and Vatuski. Wow. So is that the... Look at that. What happened to Vatuski? G-Man must have made a great overtake here at some stage. Or did I just muck up? Let's wait to see what we find out. So there's uh, Peter Perfect right up in the door of number 13 and G-Man, that's what slowed him down, getting that sideways. Nice drift there as well. Ooh. He clobbered that wall. He goes airborne. And then Peter is just muscling his way past, probably the advantage of the weight there. And it's just a it's just a drag race down to the finish. Number 13 can didn't make it. Yeah, he didn't he, he didn't have much choice there. Peter just forced his way past. He, he's like Yep, there's no point. And Peter crosses the line. So that puts it at 12 for G-Man, 11 for Peter Perfect, 9 for Batuski, and number 13 has got 7. So you're doing well for me, Larry. Oh, that's the, it, what it is in racing. Not what it is. Highest of highs and the lowest of lows. And Peter looks like he is now stamping his authority here. He's way out ahead. Batuski's got a horrible start. He's uh, bringing up the rear very slowly. Peter's been, G-Man's trying to make a move there. Oh, spins around. Yep. Number 13's going backwards. Vatuski says, why not? I'll go backwards too. Slowly past Vatuski. Come on, mate, you can do it. Peter's, oh, he's had a big spin. Sounds like he's had a crash there as well. Oh, no. Oh, it's Vatuski. Oh. 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 Peter's just doing some acrobatics there. Oh. It's a bad crash. Peter across the line with a very fast closing G-Man. That had some action in it, that one. But uh, Peter Perfect looks like he's got across the line. Absolutely has. So here's Batuski smacking that wall. That looks bad. And then look at this by Peter Perfect. Oh, bouncing around like a kangaroo. And then look at the flip. He he lands it as well. Oh, six the, the landing. And then uh, that was quite acrobatic by Peter. So what is this going to do to the points? Oh, goodness gracious me. We actually have a draw between G-Man and Peter Perfect. Nine and eight for Batuski and number 13. So we're going to have to do a count back. G-Man with two wins, one second and a fourth. Peter Perfect, two wins, one second and a third. Whoa. So that means your winner for today is the Holden A9X Tirana weighing 64 grams is, is moving, moving on. on to the race of champions. Absolutely. Now the entertainer of the race is definitely Peter Perfect. Look at that. So congratulations too to Paul Spriggs po, po Boy Racing LRL, the Lord's Racing League, RC Recreation. Well done, fellas. And then we've also got Oscars Fur Racing, Numbskull Diecast Racing, and William Kern. That seemed like a popular choice, the Tirana. It was. Well, congratulations to all of you. Stay tuned for the Mustangs. They're coming up right after this. They're mad Mustangs. All right, let's just take it. Let's just take a look. All right, back in the pits. First of all, we have, take it away Harry. Thank you Larry. First of all, we have the 2007 Mustang weighing at 37 grams. His name is the Falcon. Is that like Han Solo's Falcon? I think so. <laughs> we got the 1971 Mustang Mark 1 
He's 40 grand and he's called Maverick. Is that from Top Gun? Hopefully he doesn't take away. Well, we got the 1967 Shelby Cobra GT500 weighing 46 grams. We had to call it animal. I know we got a history on more. And that, that history is nothing great. But I promise. You take care of me, I'll take care of you. Well, you just stuck it with knives, so that isn't real flash. <laughs> and we have the 1970 Mustang, Mustang Mark 1, 33 grams. He's called Tyson because he's got a 1 2 on his car. Well, I'm going for Eleanor because th that paint job is absolutely fire. Yeah, it is. It's very, very nice. And I'm going for the Falcon. Try to uh, get the hyperdrive out. So the temperature, track temperature is 68.3 degrees and 20.2 degrees in Celsius. Let's see how mad these Mustangs really are. Let's see. Here at the starting line. We've got a good... No crashes yet. That's very, very even. Well, Eleanor just taking it away. Looks like it. Eleanor out the lead with uh, Maverick in second. Oh. Falcon in third and Tyson in last. He's having a bit of troubles down... Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Whoa! Who makes it? Side by... Oh! oh no. Mark 1 does the overtake. Oh, and they all stall out. Sorry, uh, must, uh, Maverick does the overtake. And no, uh, only one makes it across the line. Wow. They were bunched up in pairs of two, weren't they? That was, that was a very tight race. They um, must be all fairly evenly matched. But look at that. So close. Maverick was so close to making it pass, but Eleanor just shut the front door. Absolutely, and nice drifting, but this uh, coming together here, they are really uh, almost getting inside his passenger seat. Oh, and look at Falcons trying to uh, get out of the, the way of the damage there and gets balked and slams on the brakes. Maverick tried to do the old switcheroo right there. Does the rub and pass, doesn't he? What a great move. Eleanor must be furious about that one. Well, when you get knives stuck in you, you're not going to be happy. <laughs> Eleanor, I take care of you, you take care of me. Mm, unfortunately, it was not Nick Cage driving that Mustang. So it's Maverick with five, Eleanor with three, Tyson with two, and the Falcon with one. Here we go for race two. Away they go again. Falcon's getting a bit left and right sideways for Tyson. Oh, Maverick's just taken out the lead here. What's going on behind? All three of them are all getting jammed up there. All going for pirouettes. Oh, no. Oh, oh Eleanor makes it out. Well, so just barely survives by the look of that. Nice drifting there by Maverick. And slowly but surely, Eleanor makes a pass. You promised me a full car, not half a car. Oh, Mustang, uh, just Maverick. Just speeding through there. Just nails it across the line. Everybody is left in his dust. Wow, well, who, who were the ones that got out? I think it was... It's only Eleanor and Maverick that they were getting all jammed up in each other's business. So, Eleanor has almost a spin. Tyson does the double spin, but Eleanor gets rubbed, going backwards and jams up for Falcon. But look at this drift here. Maverick has got some skills in that vehicle and bunny hops it across the line. Looks like he was just about to take off. He was. Well, maybe he is Top Gun. So that's Maverick with two wins in a row for ten. Eleanor with seven. Tyson with three. And the Falcon with one. Let's see if you can prove race three. Punch it. They're away again. It looks like... Is that Maverick out in the lead again? Maverick that is taking Maverick. the lead. Tyson's in close. Eleanor is right on his hammer. Close pursuit of Tyson. Falcon's just spinning around and around and around. Oh no, Tyson's done for the spin. And Does Eleanor make it? Come on, Eleanor. Can you make it pass? Oh. I don't think she makes it. <laughs> oh, oh. Nose to nose. And uh, there's my choice. Good on you. 
Oh, oh no! no. Oh. No. <laughs> that was mighty close. We're definitely gonna have to see a replay with that. Goodness gracious me. I don't even know who won. Well, I can tell you one thing, son, it wasn't Falcon. He was, uh, <laughs> I did well in the first race, but look at Tyson getting, oh, look at the air that wow. Falcon gets. It's a Falcon, it's a bird, it's trying to take off, give me a break. And the slip and slide and then the rain, except it's not wet. That's not going to help you out, and here's that incident right at the end. What gets it across the line? It's Tyson wow. for first. Maverick for second, and Eleanor for third, all within a car length of each other. But that still means Maverick's out in the lead with 14, Eleanor with 10, Tyson with 4, and the Falcon with 2. Come on, Eleanor. I would just want you to stay out of the way of everybody's race, but look at that move from Eleanor on the inside of the Falcon. That was absolutely spectacular. Falcon oh, got... The crash! Oh no! Tyson's getting in a boxing match with Maverick. Eleanor's just staying out of the way. Good. Oh, there's oh, been an incident. No. He's on his. Oh. oh. <laughs> this Falcon's just getting in everyone's business here. Oh, they're on their roof. We may have to call for our wonderful safety crew. Oh, a big double spin by Maverick. And Eleanor gets across the line in second. Well done, Eleanor. Oh, oh they've got a... <laughs> oh. <laughs> the thing I hate most is seeing it on that vulture carrier, if you want to know the truth. That, that's really the sad part. I wish they'd leave them on the track, actually. Uh, can someone tell Alan that we can't leave him on the track, please? Here we go for the, uh, the replay. What was going on with that cop siren? It didn't sound real flash. Well, Maybe they, it was on another job. Well, they were on a boxing match, <laughs> match, weren't they? They probably look, got out of the cars and started fighting each other. Look at that move from the inside from Eleanor on uh, the useless Falcon. <laughs> Looks good, but uh, doesn't perform real well. And this just... Oh, talk about left, right, left, right. Maverick is no nonsense. Just get out of the way. Eleanor has a big headbutt here. Oh, almost writes herself off. How does she get out of this? Ah, I think I know. The Falcon comes in with his hyperdrive. Here comes Falcon. Oh, ho, 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 that was a belt and a half. After that, Falcon might need a new hyperdrive. Oh, I think he's uh, needs a new everything. Julie, let's work on the hyperdrive, please. <laughs> So that means Maverick is the winner with 19, Eleanor with 14, Tyson with 10, the Falcon with a measly 3. Oh, ah, well, no. you can't win them all. Well, the 1971 Mustang Mark 1 is we that weighing at 40 grams is moving on to the race of champions. Good stuff. And who's the entertainer of the race? And it's pretty tight through all of them. All of these mad Mustangs were. That was fabulous. So congratulations to Paul Spriggs with a double header, Jake Demus and Big Keg. Well done fellas, that was some excellent racing and good choosing. Well, that was a crazy race wasn't it Larry? It absolutely was Harry, these, uh, these Mustangs are absolutely mad. If you can't wait for more racing action, just click here or here while you wait for next week. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Bathurst Diecast Racing. Die